the point that the speaker and the learner need to find common ground on which they base their uh, their study and their assessment of their work. Okay. So this impact may have uh, this impact may manifest in uh, in in the form of increasing payment to low income families. I would say elaborate more and stop here. Then going here to the equality will create prosperity and give people the incentive to become creative. I need to rephrase this so I can connect something here. So when I, me as a reader comes to this point, at least there is some sort of joint that will lead me to read oh. the next paragraph. So there will so, be a connection between them. Yeah, so for mm. example, um, we can say, um, Equality might be considered as one of the features that will uh, benefit low income families. Okay. Now mm. I, I just I just threw this sentence um, down there, not because I want to elaborate on the sense, but I just want to pave the way to the reader to know. Like, for example, when you watch Hollywood movies, for sure. Hmm. Sometimes you are watching a scene and then music in the background that is connected to the next scene appears before you watch the scene. Yes. This is exactly what happens in writing because hmm. this is all coming from writing. Uh, it's, it's just the directors use different methods OK, or you're watching a scene and you hear a speaker talking from the next scene, but you do not see the scene yet. It takes like two to three seconds because the director and the producers want to uh, uh, prepare you and yeah, give you some background things. about what's going mm -hmm. to happen mm -hmm. next. Yes. So you, you keep engaged. There is yeah. no dislocation between the audience and mm -hmm. the content. They need the audience to be constantly engaged with the content that is provided. Yes, and react with the with the scene. Perfect. Interact yeah. with the scene. Yes. Interact, not mm -hmm. react. Yes. Um, maybe they react by crying or smiling. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, they need to keep them constantly interacting with the scene yeah. and be engaged um, with the scene. So you get the point here. Um, that's the comment that I wanted to add here. Moving yeah. on to the next paragraph. By the way, this is my chance. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, next, uh, the quality, uh, the equality will create prosperity. And give is, I mean, Mustafa, come on. Yes. <laughs> give, I mean. Yeah. Uh, we can we can say grant um, in in dough we can we can definitely say um, improve. Mm. I mean, there's there's so many academic list of verbs instead of the word give. Give is like anybody can say give. Oh God. Um, here when when we talk about people, like ask yourself how many times did I say the word people? If you said it yeah. more than twice, that's redundant. Mm. Uh, to, to, to be creative. Okay. Now, if I am a native speaker, I would say, what kind of creativity, creativity. <laughs> okay. do, you, do you mean? You guessed it. Okay. So keep that in mind, like, because this is very ambiguous kind of statement. Like, oh, okay. like, like, for example, when you talk about equality, this is, um, uh, I need to tell you something. Okay. Um, English grammar yes. has nouns, has nouns, verbs, 
adjectives and yeah. adverbs and prepositions yeah. and phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions and metaphor and blah, 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 blah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, let's talk about nouns. Nouns in English are divided into abstract and concrete. Deal? Okay. Okay. So when, when some people ask, what's abstract? Abstract is like the word philosophy. Love. Mm. Life. See? Okay. okay. Um, these are abstract nouns. Like, they are not observable. They are not tangible. They are not mm. measurable. Oh, okay. Concrete, like, for example, bread. Mm. Finger. Mm. My nose. Okay? Mm. I will, we can say cavity. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, this is something called concrete nouns. Yes. Part of the authenticity of original writing is to re to balance concrete and abstract nouns. Mm. Okay. Why? Because writing should be authentic. It should be uh, observable, tangible, tangible, yeah, uh, ob observable, tangible, concrete, mm. that mm. can be perceived and felt, mm. because this is the reality. Like some, mm. sometimes like what's not felt, what's not, what's not seen, um, cannot be realized by the mm. human mind. Yes. Now, let me ask you here, is this concrete or abstract? Uh, abstract, of course. Is this concrete or abstract? Also abstract. Is this concrete or abstract? Also abstract. Is this concrete or abstract? Abstract also. See, so it, mm. the, the, there's yeah. lots of abstraction. Mm. I mean, it's good when we are talking, I mean, when we are writing an essay in philosophy, I would love to see these words, you know? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, but when we talk about something that has to do with uh, people's lives, mm, yes, um, mm. we can just balance that. So, mm. for example, um, this equality will create, uh, instead of um, prosperity, we can say uh, sufficient job satisfaction yeah. and... Um, for, for for example, uh, financial uh, gains mm. to the low income uh, citizens. By the way, I, I'm I'm sorry for typing very fast. Uh, I I just need to get this um, done and move to the next task. No, but you get the point. Yes. Um, I think it's it, it goes by the same token that whatever we discuss here is applicable to the next task. Yes, of course. Any comments? No, no. Uh, so you need to have comments. You need to disagree with me. You, you're not just a vessel. <laughs> no, no. But, so you're but not, you were you, right. You know the word vessel? You know what a vessel is? Yes. What is it? Uh, it's a uh, yes, but. All okay, right. So, so we're not vessels. Like, we just need to we we need to negotiate. That's why I'm saying the word negotiate. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, moving on. Let's let's forget about this word. And for example, uh, I I I see that this I mean some sort of in disconnected example. Like, what are you trying to prove here? Is this related to the previous paragraph? If it does, then you have to push it here. With it. Oh, yes, yes, it was with it. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. And sequently, oh, you have mm. to add here, comma. Mm. For example, in Finland, when we say, for example, uh, yeah. this is comma, also in comma. Finland, okay. yes. um, all people must be supported by government to have fair living conditions and creates equal equality like equality cannot be created mm. um provided promote um 
So how do we how do we say this sentence? I'm I'm just not feeling that this sentence is uh, we call it awkward. Hmm. Um, like it's it's not awkward in very negative connotational uh, matter. It's just not um, consistent. Like there's there's something. Mm, I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> I want you to just to change it. Okay. Promote. Can I say promote? Promote? Yeah, for sure. Or we can say foster. Mm. Foster. Foster. Oh. F O S T E R. Yes. Okay. I love it. So here, like, Instead of saying the word create, we can we can say foster, which is like mm. promote. Promote is with E at the end. Okay. Um, frequently, I love this word as much as I don't use it, but I, I truly love it. <laughs> <laughs> most, most individuals are effective members of the community. Mustafa, I have a question here. Yes. Uh, I, I'm not testing you. I'm just asking you. Yes. What's the difference between a society and a community? Yeah, I think community is part of society. Okay. Mm. Love yeah. Now, when we are talking about most individuals are effective members of the community, mm. what made you not use the word society and decided I, to use the word community? I, I, I think I, I use society after that so i want to use uh, uh, another vocabulary for for diversity oh yeah, okay yes. oh, yes. that makes sense okay yeah. um additionally climate change should not be capitalized um the, the word climate should not be capitalized just because mm. it's a climate oh, okay. does not oh, okay. qualify oh. it to be capitalized mm. Mm. okay uh, change has played a vital role. Uh, by the way, the issue of capitalization is very interesting story in English. Yeah. And should um, the w when we talk about capital letters and small letters, it's a quite interesting story. Um, Latin was used to be written in capital letters. Yes. Uh, but they noticed that they spend lots of ink to type capital letters. So when English has shifted over the centuries, they started to adopt small letters. Like, think about it. If you write capital, what are you going to do? Let, do you have a pen? Let's try it. Just a minute. Okay, I, I just want you to learn this because it's really quite interesting. When you when you write a capital, okay. Yes. Uh, just write in your hand. Yes. Uh, handwriting. Uh, yes. A capital. Yes. Did you write it? Yes. Okay, so it took you some time to write the A. Uh, you have to draw a slanting forward line and then another sliding yeah. forward. And then you have to raise the pen and then put a little hyphen in between to just, that's gonna take like one second maybe or two seconds, depending on how fast you are. Yes. However, when, when you, so it's time consuming and it's ink, consuming <laughs> okay uh, when when we write a here this way yeah well, you don't need you don't need to raise your, the pen you can just like for example b you do yeah. not need to raise the pen yes r you do not need that yeah. d s t maybe you, you need t yes t okay but if you're writing in cursive in cursive writing, you, you don't have to raise the, uh, 
the pen many times and that's going to absorb more ink than regular. So they started to write in cursive to, to, um, to preserve enough ink to write more. Uh, that's one interpretation of why small letters uh, took place. However, they keep the tradition of adding capital letters to concrete now, um, I'm sorry, proper nouns, as my alam, mm. the beginning of paragraphs, mm. uh, the introductions, they mm. write it with a big T or big A, depending on the first word and what it, what it means, just because it's a tradition. Mm. Okay. That is the difference between capital letters and small letters and why English. In Arabic, we do not have capital letters and small letters. So if you try to explain um, capital letters and small letters equivalently in Arabic, we just don't, we don't have it. Yes. Okay. So going back here. Now you learned this important piece of information. Uh, moving on. Yes. Uh, let's let's just finalize this paragraph. Climate change is a dilemma across the world. Um, it's a it's not a dilemma. I mean, the word dilemma is when you have something that is really challenging and not absorb, but it's on a societal level. But we can say catastrophic disaster, mm. catastrophe. It's kind of like words that we use. Anyways, it's, I love it. Don't worry. Okay. Um, therefore, we just need comma here. Oh, Governments oh. must be yeah. must not neglect ah the issue. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fishing for issues to reduce yeah. the effects mm. for better future because mm. see there's this kind of uh, run on run on sentences. This is like run, run on sentence. What's a run on sentence? Do you know what a run on sentence is? No, I don't know. What's... Um, let me just go back and copy this piece so we can have a, a kind of understanding, mutual understanding of what a run on sentence is. It is um, a sentence that occurs when two or more independent clauses, يعني جمل مستقلة, also mm. known as a complete sentence, are connected improperly. One common type of run-on sentences is a comma splice. What? A comma splice. يعني هاي إنه نكتب جملة كاملة وبعدين خلي فارزة وبعدين نكتب جملة كاملة وبعدين خلي فارزة وبعدين نكتب جملة كاملة. فهاي سمونها run-on sentence. Mm. So okay. this is kind of like, I, I can see the, the comma here, which I already just added. Yes. But this is like, if we look here, government must not neglect the issue to reduce uh, the effect for, for better future because our government, until here, this is a full sentence. Okay. Mm. Until here. Now, because it's followed by another clause, and this is, our environment is the backbone of our whatever we live. So this is what we call a run-on sentence. It's it's not connected properly. Mm. See the point? Yeah, okay. Um, for instance, you need just to add a comma here. Mm. In Middle East, uh, many countries have turned toward environmental problems. Uh, this... يعني هنا نتحولت باتجاه المشاكل البيئية مو يعني mm. something this is uh, this is Arabic to English translation <laughs> okay how we call it transfer um, in recent years because of the huge impact of climate change that will be faced in the future uh, again mm. moreover art bears the identity of the nation. Like, I don't see that there's some sort of connection here. What's, uh, what is the connection? Uh, here I gave the, the, the contrast for my uh, first two paragraphs. Uh, here I, I, uh, <clears throat> I start to, uh, to give an introduction that 
also art is important. Uh huh. Yes. So I gave a slight introduction for the for the third paragraph. Okay. Mm. I I agree with you. However, I want mm. you just to change it or delete it. Okay. Um. Or I mean, we it, it's far extreme measure. We, we should not delete it. We can just change it to make it sound better. Okay. <laughs> um, art is the identity of culture and represents its history and norms. Therefore, government must. I would definitely see this a good introduction. Like mm. here, we go back. I'll just put it here in the beginning. Well, okay. I just put it in the second paragraph here. Hmm. Second paragraph. Okay. Oh, I, I think oh. it, it works better here. And it's okay to shift back and forth. Hmm. Um, okay, okay. Because you just need to write on a draft and then transfer whatever you wrote. This is how I do it. Um, so that I do not create mess in case I need to shift one of the paragraphs to the next. And okay. okay. Um, in conclusion, uh, more money. Now I see that you didn't change the word "have," which is "has," mm. has been wasted by art uh, for art by government. I mean, here, what we can do. This is subject-object shift. Mm. What we can do, uh, we can say, uh, in conclusion, government, for example, here we, we can say, have wasted tremendous mm. amount of uh, money on blah, 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 where it should be dramatically shifted to more um, urgent and demanding needs in, in whatever, such as blah, mm. blah, blah. You see? Mm -hmm. That's the point here. So it's a, it's a very, what I did, I shifted um, English is, is starting with usually starts with subject. Mm. So when we when when we say more money has been mm. wasted by by art, now you're just shifting the objects in the position of the mm. subject. Okay. In 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 such cases, it it's it's good, but it should be done properly. Yes. What I did, I just pushed the subject mm. to the beginning. I said government have governments have wasted tremendous amount and I added do you remember when when we did that practice at your home when I told you that every noun you say try to add an adjective to it yeah. yes mm. okay this is what I want you to do because this is lexical mm. diversity yes. you need to add you need to keep adding mm. many uh, kind of uplifting big Mm. adjectives just to tell them that i i know this essay it's not that quite challenging yeah <laughs> okay now so far uh, i think uh, the um the score that you got here what what score did i give you give you seven for lexical diversity c comprehension cohesion i would say for task completion i would give you 6.5 mm. And for cohesion and coherence, I'll just keep it at five, not five point five, because I'm I'm still not satisfied. Okay. Grammatical range, uh, yes, I think it's better now. It's seven, and lexical diversity is six point five. Hmm. Now you do the math. Okay. Move move to the next paragraph. Yes. Task number two. Now, what happened here? Hello. I hear you. Do you hear me? Yes. yes, yes. I said, what happened here? What did you do here? Um, <clears throat> I gave an introduction and I 
uh, uh, about uh, about my task. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, but uh, I found it it's not uh, quite challenging because I had a lot of uh, vocabulary for such type of uh, essay. Well, yeah, because I chose this topic because yeah. it's it's more medical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's related to research uh, uh, and uh, it's talk about experiment on uh, animals. Uh, so I, I talked about the ethical and uh, uh, humanitarian issue and also uh, I gave uh, um, a, a paragraph about the importance of uh, uh, of specific types of uh, uh, of research uh, in animal uh, objects, subjects. Okay, well, I mean, whatever you wrote about yeah. the theme, mm. it's not of my concern. Mm. My concern is more language related. Mm. Okay. Um, because, I mean, the um, the academic. Uh, the academic part of it is far more important and significant when it comes mm. to discussing the language-related topic here. Mm. So when we when we are going to talk essay, particularly yes. to talk about uh, completion, oh. mm. we talk about cohesion and coherence. We talk about lexical. Diversity, and we talk about grammar and accuracy. Mm. Okay. Yes. So these are vague. However, they are whatever. In order to improve, scientific research companies are using animals. Animals, yes. <laughs> as test objects for medical, like you said. How do they use animals for cosmetic purposes? Like, do they uh, put lipsticks on monkeys and try that, or what? I think some types of uh, uh, on their they use it on their skins and uh, uh, uh -huh. they see the reaction uh, after adding some type of lotions or uh, I also the cosmetic. Uh, oh, it must be replaced by. Uh, these experiments are considered unethical and harmful to animals and must mm. be replaced by a variety of strategies that are effective and significant. Um, I mean, the word strategies, um, we can change it to methods. Mm. Yes. So. Methods and strategies and approaches are different words. Mm. So you got to be very careful using that. This so. essay confirms the importance um, of non-harmful research studies in medical and cosmetic fields. Okay. Animals are living creatures uh, that have the right as such of humans. Moreover, technology um, can be used and see here, this is something called equivalence. Mm, okay. Balance. Okay. Technology can be used so whatever comes after this, for example, technology can be used and incorporated. Mm, okay. okay. Uh, when when we talk when you, so when you say and whatever comes after and should be balanced with what comes before and. Okay. When we talk about technology can be used and can be imitated, for example, but not imitate. Like this is just dislocated verb. Mm, okay. Uh, um, so we call it dislocated verb. See here. Dislocate verb. Whatever. Let's, let's just put it back here. Um, animals. See here are living creatures which have nervous systems similar to humans. Okay. Uh, here, what I want you to do yes. is probably shift 
shift this that way and then here add a strong statement so for example for example uh administering admin uh administering uh, medical experiments on animals should be banned that's a statement okay now whatever comes after this statement is going to prove that you are right whatever you're saying is correct and mm. whatever demand that you have should be uh, agreed upon uh, but if I say administering medical experiments on animals should be banned, uh, I think it's uh, I must be subjective, not objective. What you're going here, you're going to present an argumentative essay. Hmm. You're arguing against using medical tests on animals. Hmm. But so it, it's it's okay to be huge. it's okay to be subjective. Mm. Uh, but instead of say, keeping saying I, 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 mm. you can say according to what I believe, according mm. to the basic principles that I follow, um, according to my own viewpoint or in my point of view, these mm. are expressions that will minimize uh, self-egotism um, and then you're, you are not going to sound it got it got tested what what do we what is that word it goes to call it got it, whatever that word is okay yeah okay going back here therefore i love when i see therefore here yeah. but don't overuse it like therefore mm -hmm. and thus you're just adding too many conclusions in two sequential sentences mm, okay so one conclusion per paragraph is enough. Oh, okay, okay. Several restrictions legitimate for animal experimentations have been made. I mean, I love using this have been made. It's just good mm. to control such actions and for specific reasons. Like here, when you say to control such actions and See, there is no balance here. Mm. Again. Okay, okay. Like what, whenever you say and, mm. both should be balanced. If you're using a verb, use a verb. If you're using an adjective, use an adjective. Like, oh, okay, okay. like in English, in mm. English, I, I cannot say he's a smart and eat. Mm. Oh. He is. He eats and beautiful. Mm. Like we can say he eats and drinks. He's mm. beautiful and smart. Mm. See, it's balanced. Okay, okay. So there is language equivalence here. For oh. example, in Western countries, in Western countries, yes, there is a law of for approving in vivo studies and must be accepted by ethical committee. Not clear. Hmm. Um, additionally, technology should not be capitalized. It should not be capitalized. Oh, okay. Okay, so we say bold uh, can be adopted in this category. And see, technology can be adopted, okay? Mm. Can be adopted. And see, prevent. Mm. Oh, okay. There is no balance here. So there's not grammatical range. Mm. Like technology can be adopted and be prevented, for example. Mm. Uh, instead of saying inessential, which is not a word, probably in English, we say unnecessary. Okay. Hazards. You keep saying the word technology can, can provide a variety uh, of options in research and can add unexpected results okay that's good oh. which are useful and significant there is a lean young 
had we said inclination mm. oh. Oh, okay. okay so we say inclination but oh, we don't oh. say lean oh, okay so to get computerized analysis which is uh let's see here in both senses you're using which so as an evaluator i will notice that mm. is of great benefit to scientific study mm. okay to. okay uh, we use for uh, when when I say this is a phone that I brought for you as a gift. Okay. So this gift is for you, mm. but this is for your wife. Mm. Please give this to my friend and tell him this is my gift for him. Mm. For instance, in, in the United States of America, special laboratory, laboratories are using mathematical data. Um, when you say mathematical data, that's a statistical... Statistical data for a variety of medical and cosmetic research. However, special research might require vivo studies to become reliable. Here, yeah. I'm talking about the joint. Vaccines can can further their um, research advances. Then you start vaccines to be tested on living samples, okay? Um, see, the word therefore, one. <laughs> see, you use lots of therefore here. Okay. Instead of therefore, you can say, for example, furthermore. furthermore. Yes. Okay. Or, moreover, or, Additionally, okay. to add more whatever, mm. many trials should be made to reach the um, final significant results, and they must include animal and human specimens in order to be approved. Thus, you keep saying thus lots of a lot, maybe two or three times. That's yeah. maximum. Mm. In conclusion, research including animal samples must uh, be replaced by alternative procedures. When we talked about strategies, now you've shifted to procedures. Procedure, strategy, and approach and method are different. So mm, we need yeah. to, to stick okay. to one and focus on uh, the alternatives here. Yes. Okay. And then you used a lot of witches here. Mm. Um, animals can can sense the pain and have action, and this action, is, what kind of action, is considered inhumane. Mm. And I want you to change, I want you to, to, to Google later on the difference between hum, hum, inhuman and inhumane. Okay. Uh, the word inhumane is... Uh, uh, a bit different from inhuman. Mm, okay. And may participate in specific and primary. Okay, this is not clear. This is totally not clear. However, I would say, like for task achievement, I would definitely give you 7.5. Just mm. nailed it. And for cohesion and coherence, I will give you 5.5. Mm. And for grammatical range and accuracy, I'm sorry, lexical diversity, uh, th there's a good amount of improvement. Mm. And for grammatical range and accuracy, I would just give you six, mm. straight six. Um, if we tally that up, that's going to be... 7.5 plus 5.5 plus 6.5 plus 6 
equals 25.5 divided by 4. That's 6.3. Mm. So total 6.5. Okay. okay. Um, but you know, it's a spectrum, give and take. So it's either six or seven. Okay. It de it depends. Uh, and just for your information, I'm a little, I, I little bit, I'm a little bit going harder than the normal standards. Yes, it's better. Okay. <laughs> so, like, if we're shooting for ninety, I'm shooting for one hundred just in case this range is going to give us more flexibility. Of course. What I want you to do is the changes yes. um, on a different um, essay here. Yeah. So I want you to task three. Just do the changes and I will give you another score and then I'll give you another task to finish this week and we can discuss it. Okay, no problem. Um, I have another request yes do you have time to do a listening test uh, i took one oh, you didn't send me the score yes yes sorry i i i, I take I, I take six. Oh, you got six okay yeah. um it's good it's yeah. i mean it's good i'll send you another one and yeah. um problem was, just... was uh uh, I, I wrote my my answers. Uh, I lost one, so my 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 last one was uh, all false because uh, I lost one of the uh, one of the of the answers. Of the answers. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, I took uh, zero on the fourth one. Okay, mm. that's fine. That's mm. fine. Um, I'll send you one tomorrow yes. morning. Okay. But I want you to focus on writing task task three. You just okay. repeat this so we can uh, find a consensus about what we can do better. Okay, no problem. Sounds good. Enjoy your evening, Mustafa, and I look forward to see you soon. No problem. I thank you very much. Have a nice. You're more than welcome. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.